Well, I'm sitting here with Guy Cohen, the actor, our video Pretty Fly, and uh, I just wanted to catch up with him. It's been five, six years. We're hanging out in the uh, Under St. Mark's Playhouse, and uh, this is where he does improv, and he's continuing his acting career, and I, I want to get down to it and talk about all the crazy shit that's going on for you, man. <laughs> Wait, so how old are you when you did the video? Uh, I was 18 when I got it, and it's weird because it was one of my first auditions, so things happened really quickly. Agents, limos. <laughs> Agents, definitely. Limos, I don't know. Doing Not blow so. off hookers' asses, stuff right. like that. Got close to a couple movie parts. Like what? Close to what? There's a movie called Sugar and Spice. All right. that I think New Line Cinema was doing, and I had the part, I had the lead, and a new director came on a couple weeks before they started shooting, and he cut about five or six parts, and mine was one of them. Oh, wow. So I lost out there. So you were almost the guy in Sugar and Spice. <laughs> right. I, was, right. I think I was going to be one of the um, rental clerk's friends. All right. Like one of the little com comedic relief in the back. I've done a couple commercials, I have a national one running right now. It's a PSA to graduate high school. Yeah. I play a dropout. <laughs> it's hard. There's a lot of competition out there, and there's a lot of goofy, skinny-looking white guys. So <laughs> I'm not alone. It's not easy? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being you? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's not easy being skinny. Right. Well, you're tough. You know, you're, we picked you because you're, you're a ghetto. You know, you grew up in the ghettos of uh, Seal Beach, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was that? How was, was that tough growing up like that? Uh, here I was, just a kid, coming up in Long Beach. Like anybody else, got to see my first acting class. Didn't think I was the most awesome actor or anything like that. And 12 auditions later, I'm on national television. Like I said, I got an audition tape with like five different guys doing the Pretty Fly part, uh, I think the day before. And when I saw you, you were so out there and so wrong in a good way. <laughs> right. I thought, that's the guy. That's the guy. He's, he's, he's awful. It's going to be great. What's up? Guy in the house, G in the house. Yo, check this out, yo. My name's Guy. I'm chilling out in the LBC. Yo, I'll be riding with my homies, chilling, smoking the bud, doing whatever we got to do, yo. We got to. Right now, what, what kind of music do you like? I listen to everything, like rap, hip hop. I don't listen to that country stuff, though, yo. Because I don't even care about that white boy stuff. Yeah. So, like dancing with all those uh, all those girls and stuff. Dude, I always say, everybody's like, oh man, weren't those girls so hot? How didn't you hook up with them? I don't know, there's something about them. Just, <laughs> this irked me the wrong way. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm curious. What? I mean, they were hot, but when, when you got really close up to them, tons of makeup and stuff like that, they weren't feeling me either. I don't think the gear did it for them. You went on tour with us, but you didn't like it. Dude, that's mean, not true. I had a blast. I'm thinking, here's this 19-year-old kid who gets to ride on the van bus <laughs> for free, <laughs> hang out. You did the dance during Pretty Fly, so you were on right. stage for a, about a minute and a half every night. And, you know, all the free alcohol and food you could want. And, like, after a couple of weeks, you're like, ah, I want to go home and audition <laughs> for some more parts. We read an article where you said that you felt bad because you were getting recognized more than we were and, and that you were, you were more famous than we were. <laughs> Out of context. It's so messed up. <laughs> Your head got pretty big around then, huh? Um, a lot of control. I was a young huh? kid. I was a teenager. Well, so you, did, you started in videos and you did movies, you did commercials. Yeah, what I've been doing for the last about year is improv here in New York City. Oh, hi. Pick a color. <laughs> Did you lose your mommy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, orange. We're gonna crash. <laughs> Pick a number. I thought they said that wasn't smoke I smelled earlier. I think if you want to break into comedy, improv's the place to, to get started and build your base. Uh, all right, so you're, you're doing improv here in the city, hanging out, having fun. What's, uh, what's next? What's going to happen next time I come back in five or six more years? Five or six years, you'll be on set, hopefully. All right. Shooting some movie or something. You know, I, I hopefully I'll be back in LA. It's been totally cool, and I, wa I wanted to say because I haven't seen you for a while, but I want to say that was really a, that was really a cool time, and it was fun that that all kind of came together, and it was super spontaneous. I never met you, and you hadn't really 
done a lot of work before and it just kind of all came together. It was one of those really cool things that doesn't happen very often and uh, it was totally fun. And uh, thanks, thanks for helping us make that video and you know, good luck dude. Thanks. Go out there and kill it. I'll see you at the Oscars. All right, Excellent. blow it up.